city security officers say they don't feel safe. Now they're pushing for an extra layer of protection. And as News 13's Emily Younger explains, it'll be at places you might not expect. She's live at the Biopark with the details. Emily. Well, Jessica, right now, security officers like the ones right here at the zoo only have a baton and pepper spray to protect themselves, but soon they could be getting bulletproof vests. And catch a glimpse of the baby giraffe. Better yet, check out the biopark sea lions chowing down on some lunch. While people are ooing and aahing over the animals here, city security is patrolling the zoo. That's our, our job at our own facilities, is just making sure the facility is secure and safe. Tomas Romero has been an Albuquerque security officer for nearly 20 years. He's stationed at City Hall. We have to tell somebody, hey, you can't do this, you're not allowed to do this, people want to challenge you. And sometimes it may become physical at times. Last December, an armed man causing a scene at City Hall prompted a lockdown there. City Councilor Pat Davis. After the lockdown was lifted, we went to talk to some of the security officers and said, hey, how did that go? And the first thing they said were, hey, we ran for cover too. Why? Because city security officers aren't armed. Right now we have no body protection at all, of course, just polyester blue shirts. That's why they're now pushing to get bulletproof vests. If we at least have the vest, at least our officers feel somewhat secure and feel comfortable doing their job. Well, there are about 80 city officers. They work at places like Civic Plaza, city museums, the main library, and at the biopark. We asked zoo-goers what they think about guards wearing vests here. It's just a very scary thought. It's family-oriented. I think it would just make it look more intimidating, and it shouldn't be intimidating to come to the zoo. Romero says it's not about intimidation, it's about protection. We want our officers to feel safe. Things can happen very fastly, and we don't want to be at a disadvantage. Now, the city council has approved $120,000 to pay for those vests. They're now working on creating a policy before they can actually get them. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Emily. If everything goes as planned, the officers would start wearing protective vests in the next couple of months.